Harry Potter's first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry was very eventful indeed. Along with his friends Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, Harry had managed to defeat Lord Voldemort, the greatest dark sorcerer of all time. But now Harry was back at number four Privet Drive. He was often locked in his room, and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic. Then, one evening towards the end of the summer holidays, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Dobby warned Harry not to return to Hogwarts. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back, he will be in mortal danger. There is a plot, Harry Potter, a plot to make most terrible things happen. Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Ron Weasley and his brothers Fred and George arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. Harry told them all about Dobby's warning. Very fishy. I reckon old Dobby was sent to someone's idea of a joke. Can you think of anyone at school with a grudge against you? Draco Malfoy. Eventually, they landed at Ron's house, the burrow. Touchdown! Ron's mother, Molly Weasley, marched across the yard and came to a halt in front of them. She didn't look pleased. Bed's empty, no note, car gone. Out of my mind with worry. It seemed to go on for hours, and Mrs. Weasley had shouted herself hoarse before she turned to Harry. Very pleased to see you, Harry, dear. Ronald Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Come on, Harry, let's go. And they did. Welcome to my home. It's not much. I think it's brilliant. Thanks, Harry. We call it the burrow. Come on, Harry. If the ghoul is locked the attic door again, we've got to try and find another way in. I see Dad has placed some crates in the garden. Why don't we use them to climb up onto the roof and then into the open attic window? Seeing you've been stuck at the Dursleys for so long, you can practice your knockback jinx on the crates. Remember, you need to press the... Try and flipendo these crates with your knockback. Flipendo! Flipendo! That's it, Harry! Now the other one! Flipendo! Ronald Weasley, I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Oh, dear. Mum's really not happy, and I think we should avoid her. But let's climb up onto the roof and jump in through the attic window. Watch me and then follow. Just... <sighs> Okay, your turn, Harry. Push into the small crate to climb. Right, we need to calm down the ghoul. He's banging and dropping pipes and it's driving Mum mad. Use your directional buttons to move the chest. Try and catch 60 pipes before they land on the floor and make a terrible racket. Right, Harry, let's get to it.
Thanks, why, Carry? That'll shut him up for a while. Thanks for helping with the ghoul. Ah, oh, that's much quieter. Now, I need you boys to denome the garden for me. Go find Mr. Weasley. He's by the shed messing about with non-magical junk. Uh, right, let's go find Dad. leaves his junk everywhere. It drives Mum mad. Try smashing these barrels with a fully charged knot batching. Nice casting, Harry. Come on, let's go and find Dad. Hey, look! Ginny's over by the Puffs game patch. Why don't you go and chat to her? She's been a bit shy lately. I wonder why. I'm off to see what Dad's up to. Hello, Harry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ginny. I'm just looking after a pass game. Making sure that Fred and George don't use it as a bludger when they play Quidditch. Guide the puffs game over to the bushes and it'll eat them, revealing every flavour beans that you can collect. Beans can be used to buy famous witches and wizards cards from Fred and George at Hogwarts. If you guide the puffs game over to the bushes, it'll eat them, and you may be able to find a... Whenever you get a wizard card, it is put into your folio magi. There are two types of famous witches... Famous Witches and Wizards card. Felix Summerby. Best find Bron, Harry. He's gone off to see Dad, I think. It's this way. It's just through here, Harry. See you later. Hello, Harry. I'm Arthur Weasley. I was wondering if you'd help me denome the garden. It's just through the gate, but you'll need the denoming gloves to grab the gnomes. Unfortunately, I seem to have lost them under all this junk. Use your Wingardium Leviosa spell to charm and move the junk. Holding the X button levitates each piece of junk. Use your... Could you charm them and drop them onto the... Wingardium Leviosa! That's right, Harry. Keep going. Wingardium Leviosa! That's right, Harry. 
Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Well done, Harry. Thanks for helping Dad out, Harry. You've also learned how to charm objects. I'm sure that the sooner we denome the garden. <laughs> Time to put these denoming gloves to good use. Mum wants us to throw these gnomes over the fence and into that field of that's no magical junk. To fling a gnome, you're going to need a good run up. Hit the square button as quick as you can to build up speed. Once you reach the fence, you begin spinning on the spot. Press the triangle button when you're ready to throw the gnome. You get points for distance and for hitting the target. Press the triangle. Try again, Harry. <laughs> Excellent, Harry. That's your all-time highest score. That was really good fun. Do you want to play again? Hello there. Fancy a wizard jewel? A wizard jewel? Don't tell me you've never taken part in a wizard jewel. You've got a lot to learn, Harry. Is this safe? Of course it's safe. Uh, well, mostly. OK, dueling is really simple. All you have to do is try and hit your opponent with the knockback jinx. Every time you hit your opponent, you get closer to disarming him. And don't forget, fully charged knockback jinxes can be cast by holding the X button down and then releasing it. But don't worry, Harry. 
Fred will go easy on you this time. Okay? Let's duel. Get... Ready? Duel! Young Fred is going to have to be on his guard this afternoon. Fred Weasley is a monster tactician. Look at that! This is turning into a classic match. Beautiful play by Weasley. Oh, that's lovely! Look at that! This is turning into a classic match. That's it! First round to Fred, Harry. Get ready! Jewel! The duel gets underway, Ow. with Fred getting quickly into his rhythm. work from the bottom. For a beginner, he's doing really well. Ah. Oh, that's lovely. Ah. Ah. Beautiful play by Weasley. Ah. Oh, and the young Potter showing plenty of spirit there. He's taken the second round and even the contest up. Get ready, Jewel! And the duel gets underway, with Fred getting quickly into his rhythm. Great play by Potter. He's really holding his own. Look at that. This is turning into a classic. Expelliarmus! Well done, Harry. Now let's try again. But this time we'll introduce some special jinxes. Good idea, Fred. See that TV? See the way it's sparkling? That means it's got a special jinx in it. To get the special jinx, you have to force me to hit the TV with one of my jinxes. That will release an orb that you can run over and pick up. Anything that sparkles like the TV has got a special jinx in it. So remember to look out for the sparkles. Oh, I nearly forgot. Special jinxes can only be cast using the circle button. That's important. Come on, let's give it a try. Get ready! Jewel! Ah. Ah. Nice work from Potter. Ah. For a beginner, he's doing really well. Ah. Great work there. You won the first round. Get ready, Jewel. Ah. 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 Lovely work from Potter. Weasley's got his work cut out now.
Wow, look at that. You're a natural, Harry. We need to find Ginny. She's wandered off somewhere, and the whole family is waiting so we can go to Diagon Alley and get our school supplies. We'd better split up and find her. Oh, by the way, watch out for some of Dad's junk. If you come across any, use your knockback jinx or your Wingardium Leviosa to defend yourself. If you find you're getting a little low on health, chocolate frogs will help replenish your energy. So keep an eye out for them. Right, let's split up. I'll go this way.
Wingardium Leviosa! So... Sir. Oh, hi, Harry. Thank goodness you came. My puffs game swallowed my remember -all, and I got lost trying to find him. A remember -all? tells you that there's something you've forgotten to do. You can have it, Harry. I don't have my wand on me now, so you... Ginny! There you are! God, nice work, Harry. Hope Dad's junk wasn't too much of a problem for you. Right, we better get... As you've never travelled by flu powder before, you need to know a few things. When you're in the fireplace, say where you're going. And keep your elbows tucked in. Mind you get out at the right fireplace. Are you sure this is safe? Piece of cake! Diagon <coughs> Alley!
Harry had no idea where he was. All he could tell was that he wasn't in Diagon Alley. Evil-looking masks stared down from the wall, and rusty, spiked instruments hung from the ceiling. The sooner I get out of here, the better. Harry heard a noise from the door nearby, and two blurry shapes appeared on the other side of the glass. Harry looked quickly around and spotted a large black cabinet. He shot inside it and pulled the doors closed, leaving a small crack to peer through. Seconds later, a bell clanged, and Draco Malfoy stepped into the shop. The man who was with Draco could only be his father, Lucius Malfoy. Touch nothing, Draco. Mr. Malfoy was trying to sell the shopkeeper certain dark magical items that he didn't want the Ministry of Magic to find out about. Harry went to Flourish and Blotts to buy his books. While he was in there, Gilderoy Lockhart, Hogwarts' new defense against the dark arts teacher, was signing his latest book. Nice big smile, Harry. Together you and I were at the front page. Harry met up with Ron and Ginny Weasley. Lucius and Draco Malfoy were also there. Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Ginny, who was very fond of Harry, defended him. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Lucius Malfoy insulted the scruffy state of the second-hand books Ginny had bought. I suppose those books are the best your father can give you. Lucius plucked a copy of A Beginner's Guide to Transformation from Ginny's Cauldron, examined it briefly, and then replaced it. No one at that time realized how much of an effect this gesture from Lucius Malfoy would have on their lives, and they all left the shop, none the wiser. They found the car in Charing Cross Road, and after making it invisible, flew it into the sky over London. They saw the Hogwarts Express far below, and followed it for some time. Looks like we've lost the train. Let's check out that tunnel. Looks like we found the train, Ron. Try not to scratch the paintwork or my dad will kill me. Pick up the speed roof to stay ahead of the train. And watch out for any obstacles.
View. That was really close. I didn't think we'd make it out of the tunnel. Excellent, Harry. <laughs> There's Hogwarts. Try and land the car in the castle grounds. There's something wrong with the car. I don't have control anymore. Mind that tree! <laughs> By the time Harry and Ron had escaped from the Whomping Willow, the sorting ceremony had already begun. They peered in at the Great Hall and watched as the aged old sorting hat placed new students into the four Hogwarts houses, as it had for so many years past. Harry remembered putting the sorting hat on a year ago, and for a few horrible seconds he had feared the hat was going to put him into Slytherin, along with Draco Malfoy. Not Slytherin, eh? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! But of course, he had ended up in Gryffindor, along with Ron and Hermione. As they watched the sorting, Harry noticed that at least one teacher was missing from the staff table. Hang on, where's Snape? And then, from behind him came the voice Harry dreaded to hear. It was Professor Snape, Harry's least favorite teacher. I'm waiting to hear why you two didn't arrive on the school train. It was a great start to the term, thought Harry, as they followed Snape to his office. Once there, Snape nastily admonished them about flying the car to Hogwarts. You will go immediately to your common room, and I will think about how to punish you. George must have flown that car five or six times, and they never had an accident. I really thought we'd get expelled for sure. Come on, Ron, let's go to the Gryffindor common room. Do you think you can remember the way? No problem. Follow me. <laughs> Harry Potter <laughs> mustn't stay at Hogwarts. Wow! Harry Potter! It's really you! I'm Colin Creevy. 
I'm in Gryffindor too. Would it be all right if I took your picture? Everyone told me about how you survived when you know who tried to kill you. And you really do have that lightning scar on your forehead. It's brilliant here, isn't it? Flying a car right into the Whomping Willow? People will be talking about that one for years. Brilliant! What an entrance! We'd better get to the common room before Snape sees us. Look, there's Lockhart's office. I'm surprised he can get his big head through the door. Password? Uh, pig snout? Caput Draconis? I'm sorry, but that is not the password. Oh no! We don't know the password for the pink lady's portrait. Now we won't be able to get in. Ron, you were here to see if another Gryffindor passes by. I'll find Hermione. She'll know the password.
Ron, you wait here to see if another Gryffindor passes by. Harry Potter, yes, what a fine day. You look happy, Nick. That I am, Harry. I sent a letter today to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore. It's my application to join the Headless Hunt. In fact, as I was telling your friend Hermione Granger, joining the Headless Hunt has been a dream of mine for some time. Is Hermione here? Of course. Be careful, though. There are some rather mischievous books around. Use your knockback jinx to put them in their place. that you and Ron are so irresponsible. You could have been killed, or worse, expelled. The password for the pink lady is Wattlebird. Of course, you would have known this if you'd managed to get to school on time. Harry, don't forget to keep checking your report card. Felix Somerby, inventor of cheering charms. Harry, we really need to... Password? Wattlebird! We made it! Looks like this year they're awarding house cups for excellence in herbology and defense against the dark arts. It would be great if Gryffindor won them. Come on, you two. Herbology's about to start. You don't want to be late for that, too. I forgot how much I missed her. Come on, Harry. Have you heard about the secret founder jewels yet? Behind us is a statue. You can use it to find the entrances to the secret founder jewels. Defeat each Founder House duelist to win a Hogwarts Founder Famous Witches and Wizards card. Collect them all, and you can enter the special Founder's Tower. No one we know has ever managed to beat all the Founder duelists and enter the Founder's Tower. We'd really like to know what's inside. That's where you come in, Harry. We think you... 
To open up each of the jewels, you have to have a certain number of famous... Everyone knows that finding famous witches and wizards cards can be very difficult. So, we're willing to sell you five of them, Harry. It's a good deal. Give us 50 Bertie Bots every flavor beans, and we'll give you a famous witches and wizards card in return. Brilliant! You have 50 every flavor beans. Have a famous witches and wizards card. Ignatia Wildsmith. Brilliant! You have 50 every... Greta Catchlove. Gryffindor student wants a duel. In order for me to let you th In order for me to let you You want to duel the Ravenclaw champion? Wow, the Gryffindor common room. I'm going to take some pictures to send home to my dad. Have a look at my photo album, Harry. It's on the table. My photos aren't like ordinary photographs. My photos are magic. Come on, Herbology's in one of the greenhouses outside. Let's go. To get to the greenhouses, we need to go outside. If we're going outside, let's keep away from the Whomping Willow. Don't remind me.
Apologies this way. Hello again, Potter. I'm still trying to get into the Quidditch team. Maybe this year I'll have some luck. Could you mention me to Oliver Wood? You are the Gryffindor seeker after all. Entrance to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It's Herbology next. Come on. I heard about the flying car. Classic! Professor Sprout has put me here to tell all students where Greenhouse 3 is. It's through here. Phew! We made it. This is the door to the Herbology classroom. See you in there, Harry. Get to Herbology class before the timer runs out. Walk through the floating hourglasses to start the timer. If you beat the school record for the quickest time to clock... Welcome to your second year herbology class. Professor Sprout, welcome to Herbology. Please be careful of the venomous tentacula. It's teething. An A, B, or C grade can be achieved in this class. There will be rewards for excellence, so try your best. Watch my wand move around the screen and press the symbols it points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the Incendio Duo spell. Get ready. Not good. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Mo 
first impressive. Now try this one. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Bravo! Now concentrate. It's going to get... Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Mr. Potter, you have achieved a passing grade. Now follow me into Greenhouse 3. Welcome to Greenhouse 3. This is a mandrake. Its cry is very dangerous, which is why you're wearing earmuffs. I need you to collect at least three mandrakes from this greenhouse. Of course, the more mandrakes you collect, the more house points for Gryffindor. from the mandrake using your incendio duo spell. Once the slugs are out of the way, use Wingardium Leviosa to pull them out. Good luck, Harry. Wingardium Leviosa! 